fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, the local sheriffs were unable to control the crime in their districts. And when emergencies arose, many communities took the law into their own hands. The Lone Ranger fought this mob rule and saved the lives of many innocent men. In time, he proved to the pioneers that there could be no justice where violence reigned. It was the famous masked rider who finally brought law and order to a lawless frontier. Return with us now, those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! There's been more trouble in Pecos. Tell us waiting on the trail ahead. Hi, oh, Silver! Away! <laughs> As our story opens, we find the Lone Ranger without his mask, but with his face well disguised. He and Tonto, his faithful Indian friend, are riding along a familiar trail. And... There's something mighty wrong with the Lone Pecos, Tonto. I'm not going to leave this part of the country till we see things in order. There are always plenty of trouble there. I wonder how Jack is getting along. Celia Wellington was going to give him a lot of book learning. Him? Him maybe not like that. That boy <laughs> certainly deserved a good home. <laughs> He saved my life, Tonto, and I'll never forget that. Oh, you help him. Not very much, Tonto. Oh, him got good home now. While we're in Pecos, I'm going to see how he's getting along. Wait. What is it, Tonto? You look there. Horse come. Oh, 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 boy. Oh. Horse come plenty fast. There, you see? Yes. That rider is certainly getting all that Mustang can give. Look at him travel coming this way. That Jack. That friend. It is, Tonto. Where's he going? He looks as if he was trying to outrun six gun lead. Someone chase him. Him look back all time. Come on, Silver. Hi, Jack! This way! What's the trouble? Come on, Silver! The Lone Ranger dashed ahead as Jack, seeing the rider, swerved to the right to evade him. The big white stallion quickly cut down the Mustang's lead. Jack, rein up! I want to speak to you! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Rein up there! Oh, that poor boy. Oh, Let me alone. Why are you running away from me? Don't you remember me? Oh, Scott. Oh, oh. oh Scott. Oh. It's you and Tonto. What matter? I, I didn't know you. You ain't wearing your mask. Him got disguised. But I can't stop. I got to travel fast. The law is after me. The law? Please don't make me stop and answer your questions now. I can't do it. The sheriff's posse will be along just a minute now and... You not run from law? That bad. 
What'd you do? I, I didn't do nothing, but I can't prove it. If they catch me, they'll jail me. Maybe hang me. It'll most kill on Celia. You still live with Miss Wellington? Yeah. Let me go. What evidence has the law got against you? This Mustang, that's one thing. And what's in the saddlebags is another. I gotta get away. See? There they come. Did they see your face? No. Are you guilty of anything wrong? No. No. I swear it. Let me go now. Jack, you saved my life. Tyler, you and Jack hold guns on me. Quick, get on my horse, Jack. Silver will let you. I'll get on yours. What's first? I'll be the one that's captured. That'll save you. You, you can't do that, mister. You can't. I couldn't That's an you... order, Jack, and you're going to obey it. Here, Tyler, take these guns. You and Jack may be a prisoner. Good thing I put on this disguise. They, they're lynched. No, they won't. Tyler, I'll talk to you later. Uh huh. Tonto, come see you. Please, I can't see you. They're coming fast. They've seen us. Get off that horse. <laughs> Too late to change back now. Hold a gun on me, Jack. I, I can't Hold a gun on me, I tell you. You do what I'm saying. I, I don't want to capture you after what you've done for me. There he is. Come on, boys. Somebody's already got him. Jack, he's got him. Jack, in a red skin. It's all right, Jack. You'll get the reward money sure enough. You done fine. But, but maybe this fellow ain't... No, no mistaking him. We followed that there Mustang all the way from Pecos. You've got me all right. You see, he admits it. Why you want him? Hey, ain't I seen you a four-engine? Maybe. Why you want him? I can't just place you. But anyhow, from what we've seen, you helped Jackie capture this here killer. Oh, him killer? That's what he is. Take a look at his saddlebags, fellas. I'll look. I'll give you a hand. Well, mister, I'm here and putting you under arrest for the murder of Lem Billings at the Pecos Bank and for stealing some important papers. You either come with us peaceable or get drilled for resisting arrest. Oh, well, I'll go with you. You fellas find what you were looking for? I got them papers right here. Then we'll be getting back to town. Get along with this foot, boys. Uh, All right. Come on. Here. Come on. The Lone Ranger was taken to jail to await a trial which might never take place. The citizens aroused over the killing of one of their foremost businessmen talked openly of a lynching. It was early that evening that the sheriff called on Jack and the woman who had adopted him, Celia Wellington. When the sheriff was admitted to the house, he said, Can't stop for just a minute. Oh, but do have a chair, Sheriff. I don't often have company out here. Yes, yeah, thank you, but I'd better not. As things need attending to at the jail. What I come for was to see Jackie. Look here what I fetched you, young feller. The $500 that was put up for the capture of Lem's killer. I, I don't want it. Now, come on. Take it, lad. I couldn't find that engine who was with you, but if you see him again, you can split with him. Take it, Jackie. You've earned it. I, I don't want no money. I... Oh, don't let it bother you like that. I savvy how you feel, son. I felt the same way the first time I captured a man and seen him sent to jail when I knew he was going to be hung. But when you get to feeling like that, then just recollect what he'd done. But, but he ain't sure he done nothing. Oh, well, sure enough. A lem was killed and papers stole from him, and the Mustang seen heading from the bank. When we caught that feller, he was riding that same Mustang and had them papers in his saddlebags. That's proof enough. <laughs> Why, I've never seen you behave the way you have since you come home today, Jackie. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Well, I'll leave the reward here. I gotta get back to jail and try and guard the prisoner till he gets a trial. Well, thank you, Sheriff. Uh, Jackie's the one to be thanked. You can be right proud of that boy, Miss Sears. I am. Good evening to you. Good evening, Sheriff. Now, Jackie, what's the matter? You act as though you were sorry that you caught a proved killer. I am. What do you mean? I, I didn't mean to say that. I I can't tell you about it. Why can't you, Jack? I thought we were going to be real friends and never hide anything from each other. I, I won't say another word. That's all. I won't. Very well. You feel that way, son? I'll not ask. In the meantime, a mob gathered and moved toward the jail where the Lone Ranger was being held. Flash Billings, brother of the murdered man, led the way. Come on, Charlie. We'll make the sheriff turn over the prisoner. If he refuses, we'll take him anyhow. 
Are you with me? Oh, yeah. Get back from the jail. There's a sheriff now. He got his gun ready. He can't hold out again all of us. We didn't get that killer anyhow. Now we have to be smart. We have had a time. I told you fellas to stand back. Break up that mob and board back home. You can't make it, sheriff. Now listen to me, you idiots. What's this mean, Flash Billings? Did you get these fellas to come here? What if I did? Then tell them they're wasting their time and they're going back. Like fun, I will. We're after the skunk that killed my brother. Yes! It's all well and good to want to see a killer get hung. But there's ways of doing that same. It's the county should do the hanging, not you, fellas. Never mind the talk. Let us get at that fellow. And what if I don't surrender it? And you'll have to fight us. And you won't have a chance. Every man here is willing to help break into that jail. Ain't that so, man? Yeah. Well, I'm blamed if I'll send him out to you. Still figuring to fight us? Nope, that'd be foolish again, the kind of odds there is. But if you want him, you'll have to go in and get him. I'm staying neutral. You hear that, fellas? Come on, into the jailhouse. We'll get that killer. Behind the jail, the Lone Ranger stood with Tonto. Stay back out of sight, Tonto. Uh, I wonder what those men will say when they see my cell empty. Men get plenty mad. I can't accuse the sheriff of letting me out. No. The bars you broke will prove I had help from the outside. Not right. Those men don't know it, but they were closer to me outside the jail than now when they're in it. Mm, that heap funny. They've learned the truth. Them come this way. We can't stay here, Tonto. And above all, they must not see me with you. Me get silver. Him over there. Good. Come on. You... You know real killer? Not yet, but we'll speak to Jack. We've drawn suspicion from him. Now we can hear his story. Uh, Hurry, Tonto. I tell you, men, I didn't know he busted out. You were responsible for him, sir. Anybody know which way he went? His escape proves him guilty. Spread out and hunt him down. I was willing to see him tried fair and square. But after breaking loose, I don't care what happens to him. If you see him, shoot to kill. For long hours that night, Jack tossed and turned in his bed. Worry over his friend, the Lone Ranger, made it impossible for him to sleep. And Celia, hearing his restless movements, entered his room. Jackie. Oh, oh. yeah, Aunt Celia? I've been listening to you for the past hour. Can't you go to sleep? What was that choking I heard a while back? It was the lynch mob. They were after the prisoners. Oh, oh, did they get him? No. From what I heard, someone broke him free from jail and he escaped. I, I'm glad. Now try to sleep, Jack. It's awful late. I, I hope they never find him again. You wouldn't want a murderer to go free. But, but he ain't. Oh, you can't understand. You don't know about it. No, don't try to keep all your troubles to yourself, son. You learn that troubles are easier to bear when you share them with someone who loves you. Please. No matter what it is, I can help you. You're only a young boy, you know. Is it... Are you in some kind of trouble? No. Oh, please let me help. Leave me be, Aunt Celia. Go away. Leave me be, please. All right. I'll do as you say. But you've got to get some rest. I'll open the window further. Perhaps the fresh air will help you. Good night, dear. Good night. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. I can't let the Lone Ranger get hurt. He's the best friend I ever had. Thank you, Jack. <gasps> don't call out. I'm coming in here and I mustn't be heard. You, the, the Lone Ranger. I'm safe, Jack. But you shouldn't have come here. You're just wasting time. You should be riding away, clearing out. Not until I've learned the identity of the real killer. But I... And to do that, I had to speak to you. You know things about the killing that you didn't have a chance to tell me. There, there's nothing I can tell you, mister. I, I don't want to tell you. Why not, Jack? Won't you please go away? Just ride off and make your escape. Won't you do that? There's so many things I can't tell you about. You didn't kill that man, Jack. I, I would have been blamed for it if you hadn't saved me. If I leave now, a murderer will go unpunished. That's why I came here to see you. I want you to tell me everything that happened. Oh, you'd never believe me. Nobody would. You must tell me. Then then I'll creep out of the window and we'll talk outside where Aunt Celia won't hear. <laughs>
Yeah. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. The Lone Ranger, having overtaken Osage, who had tried to kill him from ambush, waited for the killer's explanation. You thought when you tried to shoot me that I was the Texas kid? Yeah. Gosh, I heard that he was heading for Pecos, and there was a big reward for him, dead or alive. Uh, he needed that money. Who told you the Texas kid was coming to Pecos? No one. Uh, that is, I can't tell who. Not Jasper Wellington? Of course not. Now look at here, Strange. If you ain't the Texas kid, then I'm doggone glad I didn't get to drop you. Now, thank that youngster for jumping on my rifle barrel. I've already thanked him. Has he gone on to Pecos? No. He won't be in Pecos for some time. I'll sure thank him when I see him. You can bet money on that. Uh, are you taking me to the law? What do you think I ought to do with him? Well, if I was in your boots and a man tried to drill me like that, stranger, I'd sure as blazes take him to the law. But Dad ratted wearing a mask like that. What else could I think but that you was a Texas kid? You haven't heard of anyone else that might wear a mask? Well, uh, you know, let me see. Leaping Jehoshaphat, you ain't... You don't mean to say you're the Lone Ranger. No, Sage, it looks to me as if you've been double-crossed by the man who sent you gunning for me. If I thought that is the case, What would I'd, you do? I'd go back and give him a working over that he would never forget. Wellington deserves it. He sure as thunder does. Why, the scheming polecat sending me to fight his battles for... Say, I never said it was Wellington that sent me. No, but you admitted it just now. Anyhow, I'll settle with him. Just you give me the chance to get him. That's all I ask. Let me show you that I was took incomplete. Well, well, suppose you go and show me. You let me go? You'd better start traveling before I change my mind. I'll have to walk my horse. It'll take most of the afternoon to get to Pecos. Well, then, the sooner you start, the better. Come on, Silver. You're doggone. <laughs> now, that ain't good. <laughs> I took him incomplete. Just wait till Wellington hears how I fooled him. As if I thought he was a Texas kid. <laughs> As if there ever was a Texas kid. <laughs> Late that afternoon, Celia found her brother sitting on the front porch of their home. She noticed a satisfied smile on his face and... Well, you don't seem to be worried about what the Lone Ranger's going to do when he gets here. <laughs> he isn't here yet, is he? No, but... Maybe he won't get here at all, Celia. Why should I worry until there's need to? What do you mean? The less you know about it, the better. You just mind your own business and you'll avoid a lot of trouble. You've planned trouble for him. <laughs> what have you done, Jess? None of your business. Now go on back in the house. I see a friend of mine coming and I want to have a talk with him. Jasper Wellington, that's old sage. He's a killer. That's never been proved. Have you sent him to ambush that lone ranger? You go into the house, do you hear me? This is the end. If you've done what I think, I'll go tell the sheriff. I've had all I can stand of this sort of thing. You'll either get out of here or I will. Hmm. Time she got away anyway. Hey, Wellington, I looked for you in the cafe. Come on up here and tell me what's happened. Wellington, that blasted tramp kid from the cafe spoiled it all. Spoiled it? Snuck up behind me and jumped my rifle. I didn't get the Lone Ranger. Why, you bungling fool. Then my horse went lame and I was overtook by him. Where is he now? I reckon he's gone back where he come from or going into camp or something. And give him a yarn that he believed. What sort of yarn? Tell him I thought he was a Texas kid with a price on his head, did or a lie. And he believed that? Sure he did. Say, where's your sister? And she likely to over here? After the door closed. Go on, then what? He found out that you was the one told me the Texas kid was coming along the trail. You told him about me? Why, you count? Now, wait, Wellington. The... Hold on a second, won't you? Listen to what I got to say. Well, go on. I told him I was coming back here and running you out in town. I told him I'd square things with you. Is he coming into Pecos? I don't know, but the chances are he will. He'll come here to make sure you're gone, and if you ain't, he'll get you yourself. Now, Wellington, you got to make yourself scarce. You bungled everything for me, Osage. I ought to see a jail for the way you handled this. I've done the best I could. I wonder how much that kid has told him. I don't know. Where is the kid? With a lone ranger, I reckon. Now, look here, Wellington. What you got to do is get out in town for a time. driven out by him. But you got to do it. He'll come snooping around town to make sure you're gone. And if you're here, he's likely to make no end of trouble. If you're gone, he can't do nothing. I can tell him I sent you, don't you, Savvy? You believe my story then, and he'll go away. Then you can come back again. Wait a minute, old say. There ain't nothing else to do. See, he's been at me to clear out. Now, maybe, uh... Maybe what, Wellington? Maybe I got an idea. I might pack up and let everyone know I'm clearing out. That's what I says. That's the only way to play it safe. Leave it to me. Maybe I can get him when he's in town. You listen to my plan. Do what you're told and see you don't bungle it again. What is it? Well, I'll skip out of town, just as I say. 
Make everyone, including Celia, think I've gone for keeps. Yeah? I'll lay low, and then tonight I'll come back and get this Lone Ranger and hustle out of town again. Then, after a couple of weeks, I'll drift back into town and claim I've changed my mind. That I'm not going to stay away. Yeah? I'll have an alibi. But I'll have a disposed of this Lone Ranger. Ginger, that's a good idea. When he's killed, you'll be suspected if Jack says anything. But you'll have an alibi for the time of his death. That sounds real slick. I'll go pack some things right now. I'll be out of town before dark. You hang around, keep your eyes open. If the Lone Ranger comes into town, be sure you know where he's at so you can tell me when I come back sometime tonight. I sure enough will, Wellington. I sure will. Celia. Celia, where are you? What is it, Jasper? Come here, give me a hand. I'll need your help. Well, what is it? I've got to leave town. I've got to leave in a hurry. Help me pack my things. You're really leaving? Yes. You don't need to ask where I'm going because it ain't none of your business. Oh, I don't care where you go as long as you go. It'll seem most too good to be true to have you out of the house. I'll help you pack all right. I'll be glad to do it. That night, the Lone Ranger, Jack, and Tonto made camp not far from Pecos. The masked man was silent. He sat apart from his companions for some time. And then suddenly he rose to his feet and came closer to the campfire. Jack. Yes, sir? Are you sure of everything you told me? Yes, sir. I didn't tell you nothing I wasn't sure of. That fellow Osage had a different story. Him say him want Texas kid. Yes, he didn't tell the truth. Not right. And it didn't mean a word he said when he told me he'd deal with Wellington when he got back to town. Not right. I think it's about time we moved into Pecos and investigated things there. Don't you do it, mister. Don't you do it. Old Sage will shoot you from ambush. He won't give you a chance. Maybe he won't get the chance to shoot me, Jack. I tell you, he's got to get you. Wellington will make him. If he don't, Wellington will likely see him jailed or maybe hung. We'll see about that, Jack. Why don't you let me go instead? Why don't you let me go there and see what I can learn? They wouldn't dare kill me. Jack, I think I will send you to Pecos. In your place? No, ahead of me. I want you to help me. Gosh, yes. Anything in the world I can do for I you, I... want you to tell old Sage where he can find me. Here? No. No, Jack. I'm going to be in the hotel. But you can't go there wearing that mask. I won't wear the mask, Jack. I'm going to disguise my face, go into the hotel, and get a room to spend the night in. And I'm to tell old Sage that? Yes. You got scheme? Now, though, old Sage is a murderer, but it's never been proved. Perhaps the sheriff will be glad of the chance to get proof. When... When he gets you? We'll see about that, Jack. Here, Silver. Get your horse, Tonto. Here's Carl. Cinch up. I'll put out the fire and pack our things. It's time for us to head for Pecos. When he had disguised himself and ridden with Tonto into Pecos, the Lone Ranger had no difficulty in renting a room at the hotel. Later, he helped Tonto through the window. By that time, Jack had found the sheriff on the porch of the cafe. The lawman listened attentively to the boy's message. And... I took it, Jack. That's sure enough news. I'm right glad to hear it. You help? Help? Sure, I'll help. Old Sage is right inside the cafe this very minute. Oh. He's seen you and me talking. Likely he'll come nosing around as soon as you leave. So you leave now. Looks like he ain't waiting. There he comes now. Even here. Here now. Reckon you already heard all the talk around the town. What is that? How I sent Wellington a kiting on his way. Mm, I heard something about it. I don't reckon he'll ever show himself around here again. He double-crossed me. If it hadn't been for the kid there, I'd have shot a right upstanding man. Ain't that so, Jack? Yeah, that's right. Yes, sirree, Jack. Just stopped me in time. When I seen it, Wellington had sent me to do his killing for him and lied about the man I was to shoot, making me think I was killing an outlaw. I swore to get Wellington. So he moved out in town to get away from you. Just so, and good riddance. I suppose that's why the Lone Ranger come into town, too. He did? Sure, he's rooming at the hotel. I never heard that. Well, he's disguised, but that's where he's spending the night. Well, if Wellington comes back, I reckon he'll sure enough get a red-hot reception. If one of us don't get him, the other one will. I gotta be going now, Sheriff. I'll see you soon. Yeah, maybe soon you expect. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger had put on his mask. He and Tonto crouched in the gloom of the hotel room, tense, alert, and ready. Then a shadow fell across the open window, and a dark form paused to study the room. Suddenly, there was a rifle shot. 
grab that rifle. Me got him. Let me go. Let go of me. Hold him, Tonto. I'll get a rope on him. Me got him. Let me hold him. Let me go. Let me go. Not this time, Osage. You're trapped at last. I'll hold you into the room. I tell you, you got the wrong man. Get that lamp going, Tonto. Let me get him. We thought you'd come back to finish the job Jack prevented. No, no, you got the wrong man. Oh, no, we haven't. You fired point blank at the dummy in that bed. You planned to murder me. Jack let you know where you could find me. They're right. You? I ain't Osage. Wellington. There he is, mister. We got Osage. Osage, you devil crossing. There's Wellington, Osage. You said you was gunning for him. Sheriff, I I wasn't. Well, what are you going to do? Stand there or shoot the critters you said you would? So you squealed on me. You put this man wise. You told the sheriff. Now, wait, Wellington. I didn't do no such thing. Didn't you say you wanted to get Wellington for sending you to drill a lone ranger and making you think it was the Texas kid? Sheriff, Wellington, I... he's a killer. He's a crook, and I'll prove it. He won't squeal on me and get away with it. Looks to me like you're both a couple of crooks. And it looks like we at last got evidence to jail you. How about it, mister? I thought Osage would come to the window and try to get me. That is what I thought had happened. But Osage met Wellington just outside the town. And Wellington himself come back to step in the trap. That's what you get for trying to do the thing yourself. So now we got them both where we wanted them for a long, long time. Where's Jack? Is he all right? Sure. When I got all I wanted, I sent him to see Miss Celia and tell her to get here and see her no count brother Ketch if she had any doubts as to his guilt. I didn't want that poor girl to think he was misjudged. I wouldn't have thought that. Celia, you here? You've got to explain. All I can say, Jasper, is that I'm glad you're no more than a half-brother. I'm satisfied to let the law take its course. All right, boys. Take these killers to the caliboo. Now, Jack. Yeah? I'm going to try and find a good place for you to live. Some family who want a great fellow like you. So you won't have to live in the cafe woodshed. Jack. How would you like to have a nice home of your own and the chance to learn reading and writing and the other things a man ought to know? Gosh, it'll be pretty swell. Then you shall have one. Huh? You heard what the Lone Ranger said, didn't you? Just like you are now, all alone in the world with a nice big home to live in. Wouldn't you like to live there, Jack? You mean just like you... like you was my mom? Yes. Oh, gosh. Come on there, silver old boy. Someone's waiting on the trail ahead. Hi, old silver. How are you? just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.